Hi guys and welcome to Rufus and Doofus. Chico here over at the RV. Yes indeed, it's a nice hot day as you can tell I'm drenched. Um, tried to address a little problem I've been having. I wasn't sure if it was a problem but boy I guess it was. Every time I started the generator, my generator would run for about a half hour and then all of a sudden it would start to cough and sputter and it would shut down. Um, I tried a bunch of different things. I, I thought maybe I, um, I had some bad fuel. That wasn't it. I thought maybe I had a bad fuel pump. That wasn't it. Um, and then I also thought that I might have had a bad oil pressure switch. So what I did was I uh, made sure that uh, my filter was completely clean. It was brand new. Uh, made sure I had good fuel uh, pumping out of the fuel line. And then when the oil pressure switch came, I replaced it. And I got to tell you, it was kind of weird because I really didn't think it was that oil pressure switch. But when I did remove the old one and I put the new one in, the problem completely went away. The generator's in the background right now running perfect. I mean, it's been running now for about an hour and a half because I had other work to do in here. And um, I needed power. So, um... I hate to tell you, but those things do go bad, and they don't go bad all at once. It's an intermittent bad, which is a pain in the neck to diagnose. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take you out there and show you where the oil uh, pressure switch is located. Um, it's pretty easy to get to. The only thing is that uh, you, I tried removing it by hand. It's not going to budge. What I did was I used a, a socket, an oversized socket, that fit around the... the um, a switch so if you do that you'll be able to loosen it and take it out it is in there quite tight so you know it's not something you're going to be able to do without a pair of pliers and if you do you're going to chew it all up so uh, it's a cheap fix I think I paid like five six bucks for it uh, I'll put the uh, link up there for the uh, oil pressure switch in case you need one and this is for my particular own generator so uh, mine's the emerald plus I believe so I just wanted to share that let's go outside and I'll show you where it is Okay guys, let me show you where that low pressure oil switch is, okay? Low low oil pressure switch. All right, let me show you. Okay, right right here there's a shield that goes over this. This is your oil filter and right there where I'm pointing is your oil pressure switch. All right? You can't get in there with a regular wrench, but I was able to get in there with a socket, okay? And uh, just get one that's large enough to go around it and you should be able to to get a grip on it and pull it out um, not too bad a job once you once you find the right socket so that's it real simple fix um, and believe it or not it has not messed up since I changed that so yes they can be intermittent they can be intermittent which is a a, a real bear to diagnose all right Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if uh, you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.